We've created this tutorial video on reverse bay parking using the 45 degree method. First of all, we'll show you how to do it on both sides to the right and to the left, and then we'll show you how to adjust it if it's not quite in. So initially we need to get over as close to the spaces as we can. Once we're close to the space we want, we're gonna swing out to the left 45 degrees doing full lock. Once we're at 45 degrees, we're then gonna stop and go backwards once we start moving, doing full right lock. As we're going backwards, looking all around us like a nervous pigeon, but also keeping an eye on the lines to make sure it's working. Once we know it's in and the car's straight, we straighten our wheels and then we just go back into the space. I'm now gonna show you the maneuver again and I'm gonna break down the different parts of it so you fully understand how to do them and why we're doing them. So to begin with, we need to move over closer to the spaces to give ourselves more room to swing out. To do this safely, we need to check our centre mirror and our right mirror and do a chin to shoulder check, just to make sure it's safe as anything could be trying to overtake us on either side in a busy car park. The next thing we need to do is work out when we need to swing out to the left. The best time to do this is when the line of the space you want looks like it's underneath the mirror. We're then going to do full lock to the left to let the car go round to 45 degrees. And just before we turn, we need to check our left shoulder to make sure there's no danger coming from the left, just like when we moved over to the right. Remember, just like all manoeuvres, we want to be constantly looking around to make sure it's safe. Car parks can be really busy places sometimes. Also remember with our manoeuvre, we always want to keep the car really, really slow, a very slow walking pace. And when we're turning that wheel, nice and brisk, nice and quick. As well as looking all around, we're also using the door mirrors to check that we're between the lines. Be careful not to stare in them too much. If we are between the lines, as soon as the car's straight, we need to straighten our wheels up, which is normally one and a half turns in most cars. Once our wheels are straight, just reversing back in a straight line to the back of the space. Doing it on the other side is just the same, except we're doing it the other way round. So we're going to get nice and close to the spaces on the left this time. We're going to be checking our right shoulder before swinging out to the right to 45 degrees. And then we're going to do full right lock to bring it round to 45 degrees. Once we've stopped, as always, making sure it's safe before we go backwards. As we go backwards, it's going to be full left lock, nice and briskly, nice and quickly. Constantly looking around like a nervous pigeon and also checking those mirrors to make sure it's between the lines. If we're in, as soon as we're straight, we're going to straighten up our wheels, which is one and a half turns. Once we're straight and the wheels are straight, just looking out the back as much as possible and judging where the back of the space is. I'm now going to show you how to adjust it if it doesn't quite go in the line. So let's look at what to do if the car gets too close to the line on the left. As you can see, we're going backwards, doing our full left lock as normal. We've realized it's too close, so the best thing to do is straighten our wheels up for a few seconds, let the car get closer to the space, and then full left lock again, just to bring the car around to straighten it up. Another way to think about it is we turn the wheel towards the line we're furthest away from. So in this case, it's the right. That will move the car over to the right a little bit. Once we're in the space, we can then turn left to get the car straight as normal. So on this clip, we're gonna show you how to fix it if we're too close to the line on the right. So we're gonna do our full left lock as normal. As you can see, the car's too close to the line. So as long as that other space is empty or there's enough space and it's safe to, we're gonna let the car come round, leaving that left lock on because we're furthest away from the line on the left. Once the car's in, full lock to the right to get the car straight. Once the car's straight, one and a half turns back to the left to straighten our wheels. Do remember when we're adjusting the car, if there are cars in the other spaces, to be very careful not to get too close to them. If we need to, we can just stop, go forward back out of the space, and then come back again. Thanks for watching our video on reverse bay parking using the 45 degree method. If you've got any questions, comment below and we'll reply as soon as we can, or ask your driving instructor. Please subscribe to our channel and please watch the rest of our videos. We hope you enjoy them. Thank you. Bye.